Hi, I'm Emily Stwicky and this is Dine Out Buffalo. We're going to take you to see some of Buffalo's favorite restaurants so that you could check out the atmosphere, see the menu, and so you have a choice of where to go when you want to dine out Buffalo. We're now gonna go over to Bob and Dan Syracuse at Pizza Plant Italian Pub. Yes, two locations, doing it for 30, Nine years. This is our 40th year. Yeah, going into our 40th year. October 20th, 2020. Hey, October 20th. Oh, 2020. 2020. The, the pod was an integral part of the first restaurant. I think the pod came up with a, 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 a desire to have something that was a single portion for everybody. Right. You know, you wanted to say, what can, what can I make at a restaurant that I can make that's my own? And exactly. the pod uh, came up. I mean, we have our own sauce, and I think the way that it's baked, uh, it's just it, it's it's just a different a different technique. Yeah, the way it cooks. So the the ingredients are almost steamed in the inside because of the uh, thermodynamic uh, constitution of the uh, incubator, okay. Okay. which is the oven. Yes, yes. <laughs> thirty vegetables, like eight different meats, mm -hmm. uh, eight different cheeses. My wife, Linda, has been responsible in a sense because we're vegetarian. She's been a vegetarian for a major portion of her life. And so I think that has a, a, a given us the impetus to be considered sometimes uh, a, a, a vegetarian restaurant. We do our soups vegan if, if uh, every once in a while the beans and greens right. is vegan. Yep. Uh, we do a lot of vegetarian soup. A great following of vegetarians, vegans, gluten-free people doesn't mean we don't Cheers. doesn't mean we don't um, you know uh, honor the the meat lovers, the carnivores, the carnivores. Since we make our own Italian sausage, we make our own chicken sausage. A lot of people don't know that, and that's probably one of what, the what, best you, actually, sausages around. It, it really is a great chicken sauce. It what is. what don't people know about the pizza plant? Pizza sauce right. uh, definitely has yeah. no, has only fresh oregano, fresh basil, and fresh garlic in it. We yeah. don't use any dried herbs. Dried herbs. Yeah. Uh, and it's all, all with uh, fresh packed tomato products. So yeah, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons the sauce, people go, oh, the sauce is really awesome. Well, yeah, it's, it is, because yeah. it's, it's, you can't get any better yeah, at the end of the day, you put you put good stuff in a pod, like you asked, why does a pod taste different than calzone? Well, it's, it's the quality of the ingredients that matter. And uh, at the end of the day, you can't compromise. Uh, he put a uh, piece of dough over a stuffed pizza pan, and it puffed up. So, yeah, but Bob looked at it and goes, wow, that's really neat. I go, yeah, it's kind of cool. We should do something with it. And then he said, well, let's throw a salad in it. I go, what? I go, yeah, it was a good idea. And there was something that happened as a mistake. And we yes. make it a little different now. We've, we've perfected the method. Appetizers. There's appetizers. We've got a lot of great nachos. People come here just for the nachos. Yeah. Curried uh, garden nachos. Yes, are an awesome thing. When they come out, you go, oh, oh you, that's, awesome. you took pictures of those. Yeah. 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 yeah, we were talking about those last night. There's a bunch of people at the bar, and somebody was eating the um, Southwest nachos that are awesome. Chicken, tomato, spices, cheese. peppers, cheese, of course, nacho, cheese, yeah. cheese and a, a blend. We don't buy nacho cheese. We blend the cheese together to get the cheese. Shred those, awesome. shred those together, because you get a bigger, a little bigger cut. And, and you get a, yeah, and it's much more flavorful and fresher. Ice creamer uh, had an evolution from taking two cookies. Yep. And all of a sudden one day, we got ice cream in the middle and cookies around the outside and whipped cream and then hot fudge. So what is that? <laughs> well, it's an ice creamer. I think we're a cacophony of a, a wonderful uh, menu items. Right. You had mentioned, you know, appetite soups. We went through soups, burgers, wraps, pasta. Yeah, some uh, great pastas. Oh, oh yeah, awesome. uh, the chicken, uh, uh, chicken. Yes, chicken chicola. Yeah. Uh, our, our pasta diablo. Oh, pasta diablo. Uh, with you know that we take some yep. crushed yep. peppers and yep. saute Chicken that. pesto alfredo. Chicken. Yeah. That's like a. There's two thir meals. thirteen pastas on the menu, yeah. and then there is the one that I always say I, I'm, <laughs> I think about, and I gotta go home and make it. Is the pasta gimbron, the baked spaghetti gimbron? Yeah, that's perfect yeah. flavors just working together. Yeah, and it's all covered with provolone. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Obviously, we were one of the first places to introduce a lot of range of beers to the area: mm -hmm. Belgian beers, 
uh, IPAs. Uh, we had our Inferno Pot Ale that is going to be coming back uh, soon. That was uh, one of the first IPAs in the area. Okay, live music. We've been uh, live music has been going on since 2004. Featuring blues, jazz, and we've had six, yeah. seven people. Right where we are, right uh, here. The great funny was totally enjoying themselves, oh, yeah. and that's what's you know the great. Joe thing. and Joe and Jack. Yeah, and uh, they do uh, Joe Bolognese. Joe Bolognese. He's a sauce. <laughs> he's, he's a saucy guy. <laughs> and Jack Civiletto. And Jack Civiletto. They do um, basically the Sinatra-esque music. You know, everything from Sinatra to Barry White. To Peppered with a little bit of comedy. A comedy. And, and it is a two to five a gig, so to speak. And we do get the crowd that comes in because it is a, it is a time slot in a day that really is underserved. They're not working. Uh, they're not Number working. One, you know, yeah. is they, they're not working, they're retired. They um, and they have they they can listen to some music, have a good time, right. get together with friends, yep. interact with everybody. Yep, and, and eat and eat the pasta. They oh, eat yeah. some pizza. They have some drinks. We may joke, but we're very passionate about what we do in the restaurant, right. about our food, exactly. about the fact that we're we're doing some things that you know with the pod and well, with a uh, stuffed pizza now. Yeah, a stuff souvlaki pizza. stuffed pizza. Oh my God, that's awesome. People have enjoyed us and are enjoying us the way they do. And uh, we're continuing to do that. And we, I, you know, we'll, we'll be doing it for uh, as long as, we, uh, long as we can. It's 48 years. Uh, maybe you won't see me in 50. Maybe you will. I don't know. And, and, uh, at 50 years. If you or someone in your family needs braces, you can trust Suburban Orthodontics. At Suburban Orthodontics, You'll be seen by an orthodontist each and every time. We accept most insurances and offer many affordable payment options. State-of-the-art technology and caring staff are just part of the Suburban Orthodontics difference. Achieve your simply spectacular smile with Suburban Orthodontics. With six locations, there's the Suburban Orthodontics near you. Contact us today for your free consultation. We are at Andale Mexican Restaurant to go check out one of Buffalo's favorites. We are at Andale Mexican Restaurant on Transit Road in East Amherst, and I'm here with John, one of the restaurant's partners. So John, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do here? Sure, my name is John, and I'm one of the, as she said, one of the partners of Andale Mexican Restaurant. And out of all the partnerships, everybody in the partnership brings something different to the table. And I came on just to help authenticize the Mexican flavor here to Buffalo. So what makes Andale a little bit different than the other Mexican restaurants in Buffalo? What sets us apart is the true authentic flavor that we're bringing. Um, the sauces that we're using, all homemade, made in house, everything, all our fresh ingredients are used daily and if they're not used we start from scratch every single day and our kitchen staff really prides themselves on making sure that all of our dishes come out prepared in a very authentic Mexican fashion. So John, there are some delicious dishes in front of us. Could you tell us a little bit about each one of them? Absolutely. Let's start on this side here. We are going to look at our guacamole azteca. Our guacamole is one of the most authentic ways to serve guacamole. You know, we pride ourselves on this appetizer because of the authenticity of it and the way it's served. In general, or usually, when guacamole is served at your table, it's all blended together. We don't blend it together. We hand dice everything, and the avocados are nice and fresh and ripe. Everything is diced in the molcajete, which is a very traditional uh, lava rock bowl. Uh, and then we serve it there at the table with some fresh cilantro and jalapeno and lime juice. Next, we have our camarones poblanos. These are made with a very traditional poblano pepper. The poblano pepper is used in several dishes here at the restaurant and here we blend the peppers with some Mexican creams and several other spices to make these delicious um, camarones that are then sauteed and tossed with the sauce. Next we have one of our pride and joys is this Pancho Villa burrito. This burrito has about four or five different dishes all in one. You'll get, you'll get a chance to taste our quesadillas, you'll get a chance to taste a chimichanga, the deep fried taquitos, you'll get uh, some steak on the side here, the pico de gallo, and then it's all 
put together in this very neat fashion and served in a very authentic uh, sauce over also. And lastly in the burritos we have our pancho burrito and this burrito here is inside the burrito comes with the traditional Mexican chorizo with some beef, some pico de gallo and then we have a homemade chipotle sauce and the sauce is then poured over topped with some Mexican cheeses. And lastly we have here are your tacos that Buffalo is used to. Buffalo is used to these deep fried hard shell tacos with beef and lettuce and the pico de gallo and this is more for people who are just used to having these tacos here, we will also cater to that. Well, after talking about all of these dishes, I am very hungry. Here at Belviso Skin Studio, uh, we have married cutting edge medical skincare services in a relaxing spa atmosphere. So Belviso Skin Studio is a place where corrective and preventative skincare treatments are customized to each individual. We take the time with our clients. They never feel rushed or pressured, but they feel well cared for. Before I came to Belviso, my skin was aging. I'm getting older and I could really notice the lines and the dullness in my skin. Since I've been going, my skin is dewy and I think I just look much younger. Services we offer include skin tightening, skin lifting, microderm abrasion, hydrofacial, skin peels, dermaplaning, and customized spa facials. Call us today for your complimentary consultation. detour martini bar and it doesn't just stop at martinis we are going to go over something really special today would you mind telling the viewers what your name is and what we're going to do today thank you Emily I'm Michael McNamara I'm the head chef and uh, detour martini bar uh, today we're actually gonna go over one of our late night specials a pizza roll and uh, we're gonna start we're, we're gonna actually have you roll a couple of pizza rolls themselves so uh, we're gonna have some fun with that uh, we're gonna start with the filling first uh, on the left side over here, we have a Pecorino and Romano cheese imported from Italy. So that's going to go in. That's about one and a half cups. And we're going to move on to our chorizo. So most people put in their pizza, pizza logs, pizza rolls, uh, like a pepperoni, a thick cut pepperoni. This is a, a thick cut chorizo. So it's just going to give it a little bit more smokiness, a little bit more flavor. Um, that's going to go in. And that's about two cups, two cups of the chorizo. And this is just a regular shredded mozzarella. Boom, that will go in. That's another two cups. And then you have two cups of our marinara sauce. So this is house-made marinara. It's a white wine marinara. Super nice and super flavorful. Delicious. So everything into a little bowl. Mix it with your hand. We got to mix everything together so it's- Looking good already. Nice and incorporated, right? So give it a quick mix with that. And then we got basil. Add the basil in. A Little bit of salt and pepper and then oregano to finish it off. We'll get both of the hands in there so we work it real nice. And then if you want to get your spoon ready, All you can right. take your spoon and you can grab one of the wonton wrappers. Okay. I'm gonna change gloves real fast. And then what we're gonna do with that wonton wrapper is we're gonna take our, our finger and we're gonna wipe the water right around the corners. Okay. Hopefully I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And you can be as sloppy as you want. You don't have to be perfect. Oh, and I'll take a masterpiece. My water. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna take just a little bit of this filling. I'll put this in front of you. We're gonna take a spoon. Okay. It's about almost a full spoon's worth. Okay. And you're gonna put that right in the middle of your square. And then with me, perfect. We're gonna take our, take our hand like this. Okay. And right in there, we're gonna put it on top, fold it, and we're just gonna push right into the little bit of hole. Yep. Okay. There you go, got you. And then we're gonna fold up. We're gonna take this corner, bring it up to the top, and then we're gonna slowly pinch the outside. Okay. There we go. 
pinch on the outside. Now this is the tricky but really fun part, right? So we're gonna take one of the sides and we're just gonna slowly try to fold it over and under. Over and under, over and under. Exactly, perfect. And then we'll flip it over and then do the other side. Over, under. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So you get this little kind of like crab rangoon shape and we take it, tuck it under. Now it almost looks like a little turkey. And that's your one. Yours is looking better than mine. <laughs> I mean, I've had practice and this is your very first one, but that is absolutely beautiful. So that's awesome. one and two. All right, so after we've rolled the pizza rolls, we're gonna drop them in 375 degrees into the fryer for two minutes. And that's all it is, is just two minutes. So we're gonna get the outside uh, completely, completely fried and the inside is gonna be almost molten lava. So you gotta wait about a minute uh, to take them out and let them rest and cool or else you will burn the top of your mouth like every other pizza roll you've ever had in your entire life. Um, so we got a minute and a half now to finish them off. And they're gonna be finished off with basil, uh, chiffonade basil. Uh, you get blue cheese and the Pecorino Romano over the top as well. All right, and our final product, Emily. Wow, did I make one of those? I mean, can you believe that one of those is actually yours? I know, people might start to think that I'm the head chef. It you, might, you might have to make these for the family every other night now, so uh -huh. we'll have to try them. And this is how we finish it off, so this is our basic plating. Uh, normally you get five in a serving, uh, homemade blue cheese made with our gorgonzola, or gorgonzola and uh, we got pecorino romano and a chiffonaded basil on top of that. And all I have to say is that just watch the first bite because it is kind of like molten lava and you will get that top of the mouth burn. Well, it looks delicious. Now I have to ask, how many of these are you making each night? Uh, each night, it's, uh, on a weekly basis, we make about 300 to 400 on a week. Wow. Yeah. Great, now tell us a little bit about the bar here. Uh, what are some of the popular drinks? Uh, popular drinks, we actually have all of our drinks, martini-wise, are named after popular places in Buffalo. So we have the Chippewa Street, we have the Elmwood, we have a lot of good, uh, actually the one, the best one we have is a, a, a chocolate martini. And I know we have chocolate martini right down the road, uh, but I highly suggest to come in and try our espresso chocolate martini. It's, it's out of this world. So how long has Detour been in business? Uh, this will be our second year as coming into February, and uh, we're excited. We've, we've been growing. Uh, last year we grew even more than this year, so this year we're going to try to keep growing, and we're going to even try to bring brunches on Sundays and uh, try to expand this late night menu as much as we can. Now there are a lot of businesses around here in Buffalo. Do you have a special happy hour? A special happy hour, yes. So Thursdays we run a happy hour all day, and then every other day of the week, we're closed on Mondays and Sundays, but every other day we run happy hours from at least four to seven or four to eight. And then our, our, our actual late night menu is all the way up until 2 a.m. now. Awesome, great. Well, this looks delicious. Thank you so much, Thank Chef. you, yeah, thank we you. We really appreciate it. We're going to be heading over to our next destination and we'll see you there. at the Oak Stave Drinkery and Eatery here on Transit in Williamsville. And I'm here with Jordan Welker. Jordan, can you tell us a little bit about your position and some of your responsibilities here at Oak Stave? Yeah, I'm the executive chef here. So I'm basically responsible for any of the food that comes out of the kitchen, uh, your ticket times, your quality control. Now, you know I'm gonna ask, but what is your favorite meal here at Oak Stave? Oh my God, I, I pretty much have the same answer every single time, it's the bacon wrap meatloaf. It's just like comfort, home food that mom would make done upscale. What are some of the most popular dishes here at Oak Save? Honestly, I'd probably say our appetizers are a lot of our main things there. Uh, it's, it's great for the bar crowd, a lot of shareable plates, uh, wide selection. But you know, uh, burgers are big sellers for us too. Uh, we have 10 ounce signature blend burgers that we get specially made for us. A uh, nice, big, thick, crusty bun. It's, it's really good. So we're going to start today making one of our most popular burgers. Uh, it's called the Stave Burger, Oak Stave, Stave Burger. Uh, it's basically a burger, 10 ounce signature blend, uh, seasoned with salt and pepper. And then it'll be topped with American cheese, bacon, uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, a secret sauce, and a fried egg. So we'll come back over to our burgers. So you can see I flipped it on my first turn here, and we're gonna quarter turn it now. So we'll come under it, and we'll cross it. A little press on the initial flip is fine. It's gonna help with your sear. Any more than that, you're just squeezing juice out of it. 
you're ruining the product, you know? So let it cook itself. It's good for it. Take an A, and we're gonna let that go right on the flat top there. Nice and easy. Close to the flat top, making sure that you're not breaking that yolk. You want that hole, that's part of the texture we're craving. So you wanna make sure you season that food. We're gonna be eating this, so it needs to be seasoned appropriately. Salt and pepper for that as well. We're gonna add American cheese to this. Let that rest on the burger for now, okay? You can see our egg's almost done here. I'm gonna put our burger up top to melt. I'm gonna make sure that cheese is nice and melted for them. So we're just melting up the cheese here. We just wanna see that cheese fall over the edge and start to bubble a little bit, just like that. Perfect. We'll top it with our fried egg. Start with uh, fresh Boston lettuce right there. A little bit of heirloom tomato and some red onion. We're gonna to top our sandwich. Great. Are there any desserts here at Oaks, Dave? Yeah, actually, uh, we offer a couple desserts. Uh, we feature cheesecakes from Genevieve's Bake Shop, which is actually just right down the street, a little local-owned uh, bakery. And they do a really nice job, and we do a weekly feature of cheesecakes. So it's basically a different one every single week, you know, different toppings. You get your fruit, you get your chocolate. It's basically everything you want from the cheesecake. So there is a beautiful bar here at Oaks, Dave. Could you tell us about some of the drinks that are prepared here? Yeah, uh, we have a wide selection of craft cocktails as well as wines, uh, and there are, all of our cocktails are made by our GM, Brandy Morgan. Uh, she does a real good job with the weekly features as well as a standing rotating list. Do you have any happy hour here? Yeah, actually we do uh, drink specials as well as food specials uh, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I saw some wonderful cocktails prepared earlier. Is that a popular thing here at Oak Save? Do a lot of people order cocktails? Oh yeah, absolutely, all the time. Uh, you know, they, with the happy hour, obviously we run specials on these drinks, but even uh, you know any other time of day, yeah, we have a big drinking crowd. Uh, the antioxidants, a really popular one. Brandy will make a uh, fresh cocktail every single week, so it's always rotating, you know, a little different. So I saw this really crazy smoked drink. Can you tell me about it a little bit? Yeah, so that's a, that's a smoked old fashioned. That's one of our signature cocktails. It's been on the menu since I started here. Uh, it, it's really good. So basically they smoke a piece of oak, they hit it with fire and cap it in the cup and uh, that's your smoke. So you have a wide variety on your menu and I'm sure you have a lot of people that come in here and ask for one specific meal. What do you find that a lot of people order? You know, over the summer, some of our best sellers were uh, the shrimp lettuce wraps. You know, it's light, uh, fresh mango, teriyaki, shrimp fried. So you get a lot of the components that people are looking for with that light season. Uh, but then you hit in the weather or the winter months like now and uh, it's heavier dishes. You know, I talked about the meatloaf before. We do a pretzel crusted chicken that sells extremely well. And uh, of course, you know, we, we offer a fish fry every day of the week and that that's actually our best-selling entree is the fish fry. So what's some of the feedback that you've received from customers here at Oak Save? We're here to celebrate a 90th birthday, believe it or not, and um, I love the food here, I, especially the salads. I like the apple pecan salad and the roasted beet salad, and I've had the tacos before, and I think those are amazing as well. People love the food. It's big portions, big plates. Uh, and the price seems to be right. And not only that, but you mix in the drinks and most people are happy you cover all grounds between the kids, grandparents, and you know, mom and dad. Jordan, what does the Impossible Burger entail? So it's basically a burger that's made in the replica of meat. You know, it's supposed to give you the illusion that it is real, but it's all plant protein and completely uh, vegan at that point. Great, now if you were to sit down after a long shift at the bar, what would you order? <laughs> the Southwest egg rolls every single time. Uh, yeah, I'm a big sucker for any of the egg rolls. Uh, we do Philly cheesesteak egg rolls and Southwest egg rolls, and they're both really good. If you were to describe Oak Steve in three words, what three words would you give it? Upscale, casual, sports. That's probably it. So a diverse range. Exactly. That's the <laughs> idea. You know, we want everybody to be comfortable here, whether you're the family or you're the guy who just finished his nine to five job at the office. It's kind of fit to accommodate everybody. We are a big sports town here in Buffalo, and I'm wondering when a game is on, whether that's hockey, football, do you get a big crowd here? 
Yeah, yeah, we do well for these games. Uh, you know, football season obviously just came to an end, but we ran uh, specials for all the football games, and obviously we have it going through the speakers. So, you know, it's a real in-town atmosphere, I guess is what you could say. It brings a lot of people back. So thank you so much for visiting with us, Jordan. We are so excited. We're going on to our next restaurant now. Stay tuned. If you or someone in your family needs braces, you can trust Suburban Orthodontics. At Suburban Orthodontics, you'll be seen by an orthodontist each and every time. We accept most insurances and offer many affordable payment options. State-of-the-art technology and caring staff are just part of the Suburban Orthodontics difference. Achieve your simply spectacular smile with Suburban Orthodontics. With six locations, there's the Suburban Orthodontics near you. Contact us today for your free consultation. We are here at Russell Steaks, Chops and More, and I am with the man himself, Mr. Russell Salvatore. How are you? Good morning. Um, how are it's you today? To so see nice you. to see you. It's great Glad to, to see be you. with you. What do we have here in front of us? Well, I just got a delivery in today, and we usually get deliveries early in the morning, and I check every one that comes in here. Today I got some of our steaks come in, so I'll explain to you what they are and what my specs on our steaks have to be like at Russell Steaks, Chops, and more. Great. Now, this is called a strip steak. The strip steak is one out of the cattle, which it doesn't have the filet end on it. It's just a strip of the whole thing. I'm getting hungry already just looking at this. <laughs> and the cut's got to be perfect. Now, see how this strip steak, Emily, is so beautiful. See the thickness? They all have to be cut two and a half inches thick to my satisfaction. There's no chain on. With the chain in, it's part of most restaurants will leave on. It's the fat, it's not edible. And the same with the tail. This is completely clean. It's 16 ounces of all prime beef that if you're eating it, there's going to be nothing left on the plate at all. And again, awesome. like I explained to you, I am so fussy about our cut. The cut has to be, look at that, look how beautiful that is. It looks great. Isn't it, isn't it gorgeous? And that's our strip steak that we serve at Russell Steaks Chops. And another item that we serve is called a bone-in ribeye. Now they're all coming fresh, none of it is frozen. And this is the bone in ribeye. Look at that. It's look, wow. look, look at the cut of that. That is two impressive. And half, two and a half inches thick. And again, all prime beef. I mean, it's got to be cut from the prime rib, which your prime rib is like that, and they slice it. But everyone has to be cut to our satisfaction. Two and a half inches thick, no fat, no nothing. All edible beef, Great. all prime beef at Russell's Steaks, Chops, and more. Delicious? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs>